Hi, we're looking at Pete Vandinsky's daughters, who I mispronounced his name and their names. Uh, we are here at the Soda Fountain at the pharmacy on Main Street. Please come down. They've got the best ice cream in town. I can vouch for that personally. And this is Pete. Founder, How are you? Founder, uh, Good to see you. Extraordinaire. Well, yeah, well, I'm not really the founder because oh. I took it over 19, this is my 19th season. So I took it over from uh, uh, Andy Marks, who was here for 12 years. Oh my gosh. But uh, the Soda Fountain, uh, back then it was called the Andy's Luncheonette. Now, but, how far back does it date before that? Do you have any idea? Uh, Has it always been? Uh, well, it's been here, uh, I believe, since 1929. We always had Congdon's Pharmacy for 155 ne years next door mm -hmm. uh, until about seven years ago. Right. And uh, they had a lunch counter there, which I ran that one as well. The last year it was a lunch counter in... Um, in, That's right. in that pharmacy. That's right. And you've done a lot of things in food service before opening, uh, yes. running the yep. lunch counters? Yeah, I did. I was, uh, uh, I cooked for 600 guys a meal, three meals a day in the 82nd Airborne Division. Hey, thank you for your service. You're very no, welcome. My yeah. Division. 19, Green Eagles. 19, uh, the Claws, right? Nope. That's 101st. 101st. Oh, yeah. Right yep. They were the peak. Nope. AA. AA. All American. Oh. Yep. And uh, I was I was uh, I was I was a Dutch citizen while I was uh, in serving the U.S. Army. Really? Yep. My wow. my brother Mike had signed up for the service, uh, and I signed up with him, and we you know served as as Dutch citizens. I didn't even know that was possible. Well, you go through a special security clearance back then. I don't know what happens now since 9/11 and those type of things, yeah. but you know, but back then it was uh, you know. And did uh, they train you how to cook, or was that just something uh, you well, my, had an affinity for before? My mom was um, was a great cook. She used to teach at the New York State Fair on how to touch, to uh, do Dutch cooking. I moved to America at age seven, and you know, um, she was she was she was great. You know, unfortunately, you know, she passed a long time ago, and uh, I don't really get too many Dutch meals, but. Uh, it, all good. But the but the tradition continues. The tradition continues. Yep. And I like to eat. This is not all beer I'm sporting here. <laughs> this is this is taste tested proved. Yep. Good. Uh -huh. Exactly. And I gotta say, I I come in here almost at least three times a week for for turkey Reuben. I think those are just. And, and the dirty dogs and the ice cream and the fraps. Yeah, well, Pete's and dirty. It's not a milkshake; it's a frap. When, when I took it over here, they didn't serve hot dogs, and uh, you know, I, I, lo I love hot dogs, so I came up with Pete's dirty water dogs. I do them street vendor style, like the guys in the city with a hot dog cart. The difference between me and him is I start with clean water every day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, I mean, so you know, we do uh, about 15 kinds of sandwiches, and we do bagels and all kinds of things for breakfast. People, a lot of people come in here. They get their, they come in in the morning and they get their lunch, take them to the beach. And they good to go. They do that. Yes. Yep. And you know, I have people come off the boat and go. My kids come here. You know, they can't come up Main Street without having a grilled cheese sandwich and a and a frap. And then they go and they don't want to eat a grilled cheese at home because. It's not it's like the soda fountain. Exactly. And it, what's the fun part for me, keeping part of Nantucket history alive with having the soda fountain, is that you know generation after generation walk by here and go, oh, that's like a place my grandpa took me to. Right. And so we try to keep it really, really simple and fun. And the crew that I've had over the years has been tremendously great. I've had kids from every part of the world working, and uh, it's and fun. And they're always very friendly. Uh, uh, and and they don't mind uh, joking around with the with the with their regulars. You that's know? right. And, that's uh, right. It's it's really a great it's a great place to um, you know spend part of your day. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, I know you have a whole lot of regulars um, year round who come in, have their morning coffee, yeah. do a little coffee yeah. clutch. You know, uh, yeah. read the paper. We're here 364 days a year. What's the What's the one day you can't get in? Christmas. We 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 you know we do close for Christmas. You know and. Uh, we conform to what the pharmacy stays open for, you know, their patients, you know, or, or clients to come in. Sure. And, uh, you know, we are here for the whole community. And what are your hours for those of those who don't know? Uh, year round, we're open from seven days a week from eight till six. And then on this uh, particular part of the season, the summer season, we do from 730 in the morning until 1030 in the evening. 
Really? Yeah. Wow. And yeah. how long does that last? Is that just sort of July um, and August? Or? Um, yeah, well, we do, Columbus you know, we, the, 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 the hours kind of change through, you know, maybe into, in Columbus Day, you know, in, after Labor Day, we do weekdays until 8 o'clock and weekends until 9.30 or 10 o'clock. It all, de you know, all depends. And again, that's, you know, the, the pharmacy sets the hours. Mm -hmm. And um, and I can tell you, you know, all the years that I've been here, um, it's kind of the most unique thing. You don't, I don't have a key for my own business. I just, oh, yeah. yep, because you know, of the things that they, you know, have to take care sure, of and absolutely. provide. But um, working with Alan Bell and Ken and, They're you great, know, all, they? yep, yep. It's been, you know, it's been a great relationship and I love it. And, uh, you know. And you've got the third or second generation, third generation cook, second generation here. My, my, yeah, my, who, who are they? Um, Meredith is my youngest daughter, the one that's closest in right here. Okay. And uh, she's going to be a senior in high school. And my other daughter, Miranda, is uh, a second year student, or she's going into her junior year at the College of Charleston, South Carolina. Congratulations on both counts. That's yeah. great. Yeah. I've always said, and I had an interview with Gino in the van one day, and I said, you know, Gino is a great service for Nantucket. He brings light into really people's great. eyes that nobody knows about certain aspects of Nantucket like Gino does. He's very well informed, and I just love the way he, you know, presents on the pulse. stuff. Of, of the real island. Yep, Not and I knew I knew I knew Gino going back to food history. I my uh, I had a Dory restaurant back on India Street from awesome. nineteen um, dog food omelet eighty eight and eighty nine dog food omelet. That I was had me. Dog food omelets every day. Whoa, yep. every so, day. I'm yep. at Flossy Swap House. I'd walk down India Street from Flossy's. Have a dog food omelet. I, and, and, I cried when that place. And, and, and Gino and Kevin uh, had a painting business, yep. and they were my regular customers. Oh, yeah. You know, bottomless. We learn about each other. You know, yep. it's so yep. funny. It's so funny. Yep. Well, so you know, again, you know, kudos to Gino. You know, for you know, bringing it all around for Nantucket and other environments and places, and bringing other parts of the world to us. Absolutely. Because some people, you know, don't have the opportunity to escape here. Um, you know, because it just you're so involved with family sure. life or whatever Absolutely. else, or with business. And uh, you know, it's really great to see. You know, I mean, I loved watching you know episodes from Hawaii doing the paddle boats, and now we got some people doing paddling here. Sure. And that was inspired by Gino, I would believe, you know, I mean, because I wouldn't have thought about doing paddling here. I still don't, but I, I'm a kayak fisherman, so. He'll be in the, he'll be in the triathlon tomorrow. Yeah, 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 I think I'll be, I, yeah, I'll be, I think I'll be, yeah, I, I'll be the guy, I'll be the guy at the finish line going like, hey, any burgers left? <laughs> All right, that's a perfect end, right there. That's how we'll end it.